Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh Gorantla and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back with a new session. Here we are going to discussing about how to install Android Studio into a Windows system. Okay, here step by step we will see how we can able to do. Step one, step one we need to go for google and search google.com and there we need to search for step two android studio android studio okay and here it will show you some options and there we need to choose for android downloader okay here we need to search for android studio downloader and enter and here we can able to get it for this is the link okay we need to click for here these are step three to choose for Android Studio. Okay. And step four, step three, choose link to going Android Studio. Okay. And step four, we need to choose for which version we need to do. Okay. And here there are two things. Okay. Here, if you click here, by default we can able to get it for latest version of uh, android studio and also we can able to see this android studio it will tell you what all the new features are presented this entire things it will provide even code features and everything but we are not going to use this all the things and we are going to testing format there is a different format of exp uh, using and here as well we have another android studio downloaders okay this also we can able to see same thing okay which is related to Mac or which is related to Windows or which is related to Linux, Chrome OS, all the things that we can able to see. If you want to command line tool to execute, we can able to use that as well. Okay. And if you click here, first one, we'll go for both the places. If you go for here and it will ask you for downloading Android Studio. Okay. Patch version. Now this is a patch version. If you come that down, there is a here to click for particular one okay and then we can able to download that uh, entire uh, android studio okay this will take some couple of minutes because it will have some uh, 1.0 something if your internet is more then we can able to download very quick otherwise it will go for very slow okay these are one option and another option is a similar format you can able to come down and here as well, you can able to choose for, uh, there is zip folder will be there and here is exe. If you click for zip, no dot exe installer will not be presented here. Direct entire folder will become, okay. This is very complicated to set up, okay. <laughs> for this, you need to use for this exe to download. Again, it will go for same. You need to choose and you need to download, okay. And here there is a Android Studio release notes also presented with the latest version. What all the uh, things are presented for this particular latest version? What all the things they are provided? That are all the things you can able to see here. E here there is a past releases. If there is any past releases is there, then that release related. Okay, now again it is coming back to here itself. There are old versions also. These are the old versions are presented. We need to search in a Google for this versions and we can able to download that versions. Previous what happened if you click this one and we can able to get it. Okay, but now we are not that much we are not getting. And before these two, after downloading this, download Android Studio, okay. Once you done the Android Studio downloader, then step five, need to uh, set up for Gradle. Gradle, like how you are going to set up for Marvel, right? A similar format, we need to set up for Gradle, step five, okay? Here we can able to go for again Google. And here search for Gradle downloader. Okay, in the first, you can able to see installer will be there and release notes also presented. You can able to installers and here prerequisites. 
we can able to download links will be there and you can able to here we can able to download if you want binary format of we can go our latest version 8.3 is presented is uh, released on 17th august 2023 okay you can click on download you can uh, download it or else you can download for binary only okay it will give you for some zip folder okay some zip folder if you download complete also it will give for similar format okay you can click for com uh, complete location here complete location then we can able to this is a uh, gradle link okay now once you downloaded this one okay and it will go and sit into our downloader location okay you need to unzip it okay once you unzip it it will go for some here itself okay uh, it will uh, provide one more folder my it is stuck in okay one minute once it is done we can able to you can download latest version or old version there is no problem okay why also i'll tell you in the later session okay later topic when we are coming right that moment i'll uh, explain you okay now i'm going to cancel this one you can see this is the one file right you can able to see that file in here okay once you come that one you can copy this particular file okay copy this file okay and go to c drive go to c drive paste it here similar format of here i pasted here right similar format you can paste it okay once you paste it just open for uh, edit system environment variables and go to environment and set up for gradle home that is c drive and provide that and after that you can go for path location and here two percentage symbols and slash bin you can provide okay now you are able to set up for gradle okay for android project creation we required for gradle because gradle only it is comparing for entire project okay that's why i explain for downloading and set up for that okay and step six we done for unzip and set up environment correct we done for that now step seven step seven we need to go for exe where it is downloaded for our android studio that we need to double click okay once you double click and we can able to we can able to get this is the one link okay and one minute i'll maximize now this is the one we can able to get it not this one and this is the link we can able to get it okay once you get this particular slide you need to click for next okay and also you need to choose for android virtual device in case if it is not check we need to check because this is the one is main for us okay we need to create for virtual devices the space is required for 3.4 gb okay it is it will download for some additional uh, things also maybe it will increase or decrease but minimum is 3.4 gb is required once you click on next okay it will comes to this location it will show you the path location in case if you want you can keep it there or if you can different path you can choose for based upon that you can browse and provide for the location and then you can click for next once you come to the next you can able to see for installation process okay this button you have to click no need to choose anything it is by default everything will be choose and it will be stored okay then click for next it will start for downloading okay it will take for couple of minutes okay no need to bother about it and then it will come to finish it okay just finish click on finish okay then once you finish it it will open for this particular window here we need to choose for don't send okay then it will open for this particular window okay once it is open you need to choose for new project and choose for any mtv activity and here you can able to keep it everything same and finish it 
okay once it is finished it then you can able to uh, like it will download for some project okay it will set up everything it will take for a couple of minutes 10 to 15 minutes or less also in case based upon your uh, uh, internet speed okay then finally it will comes to here download and, and finish it once you finish it the project will be look like this okay and this is the project it will be look like okay and then this is the end of the screen okay and after this we need to go for again environment setup is more important from here okay and again you need to edit system environment variables and environment variables and we need to go for and at home to create here how we can able to find hundred home is c drive go for users and go for user and you need to go for app data local android and sdk this is the path you need to copy okay once you copy and go to environment variable create for and at home and here you need to keep it how we can able to create means you need to click for new and paste it here is and at home and paste it that link where you copied okay where you copied this is the link we are copying right this link we need to copy and paste it here and create for home okay and at home okay once you created go to path location click on edit and the last we need to use for percentage and at home which is the label we created here as starting right that slash and inside that there is a build tools are presented okay and after that platform tools and tools these are the three path you need to paste it similar format of here slash build tools slash platform tools slash tools these are three things i pasted and the similar format you have to use the same thing okay no need to change anything okay just after that you can click on ok and ok and ok once it is done the, your android studio installation is done platform and everything okay next video session we can able to see appium inspector with the latest version how we can able to install into our local this will we'll see for next video session okay thank you for watching